If you'd like to see how I'm going to add some glitter to this small miniature Sutter Home bottle and transform it into this lovely sparkly glitter, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today in this video I'm going to be adding some chunky glitter to this little Sutter Home bottle. I picked up like a six pack of this from the grocery store probably about a year ago and it was only about $7 I think. Now here's some Mod Podge. I'm going to use that to apply the glitter and this is the Recollections glitter. It's about $8 from Michaels. This is just gonna be a little thank you gift, something really quick. Oh, and a sponge brush, you will need one of those as well. Something I'm making really quick, I had attended a three day course and the speakers were very nice and pleasant so I just made a couple small things to give them. So I just poured a little bit of the Mod Podge into like a little empty lid and what you see me doing is just simply adding it onto the bottle. I'm going around the label and I'm just simply sprinkling on the glitter onto the bottle. This little DIY is so simple and it comes out so pretty. I love the glitter look on these little bottles. Now if you have more time and you want to do a different look, you're more than welcome to add pearls onto these bottles and rhinestones. That's also cute as well. But this glitter is just so cute. I decided to go with pink because I like pink. And the little top on this bottle is pink as well. So it just kind of sets it off and looks cute. Now, if I use a finer glitter, like a smaller grain of glitter, I usually do two coats. On this, I'll be doing one coat. Oh, and make sure you have you like a little old blush brush or a nice little fluffy brush. Just so you can dust off any excess glitter that you don't need so you can see where you need to continue to add the glitter. Now, I did come all the way up to the neck of the bottle, up to the, um, the lid, so I can get the whole thing covered. And I'm just gonna finish it off by adding glitter to this top area. And once I let it dry for about 30 minutes to an hour, I'll go ahead and seal the glitter. And I'll show you how to do that pretty soon. And don't worry because this Mod Podge, it is white, but it does dry clear. And you can seal your glitter with Mod Podge. I have a different product that I like to use, but Mod Podge does work fine. It, does, it just doesn't look as sparkly in my opinion. But to help that out, which is what I used to do, I would add a little bit of glitter to the Mod Podge and a pinch of water just to kind of like thin it out some. And I thought that helped as well. So I'm gonna let this dry for about 35 minutes or so, maybe to an hour, and I'll come back and show you guys how I'm gonna seal it. Okay, so now that I let the bottle dry, I'm gonna use this Tri Art Liquid Glass. This product works very well. It's kind of on the runny side, so I just kind of pour it on and I just kind of pull it across the whole bottle and let it dry. This was $60. I get a big container of it because I really like it and I use it quite a bit. For whatever reason, um, in about a year and a half's time, the price of it doubled. So if you could just Google it and see where you can find it cheaper, good luck with that. I purchased mine from dickblick.com. It's like an arts um, and craft type of website where you can order art supplies. So definitely try it out there. Make sure it's clear because I just recently learned that this, this liquid glass does come in colors. Like it comes in blue, it comes in red. Um, I'm almost finished you guys and I'll show you the final result. Just go ahead and let it dry for at least an hour or like overnight to make sure it's fully dry. Okay you guys, here is the final finished result of this little miniature size Sutter Home bottle. And I think it came out absolutely gorgeous. And yes, this is just one coat of glitter. Just one coat. Of course, you can go ahead and add two coats if you feel necessary. Um, I didn't feel like it was necessary, so I just added the one coat. Now, I think this is very pretty, and Christmas is right around the corner. So this will also make a cute little Christmas gift or a stocking stuffer or just a gift and a card all together. Like this is really cute. People like glitter. People like things that are sparkly. For the most part, it seems like most people do like wine um, or you can do like a small miniature liquor bottle. Um, for the people who don't like wine and don't drink, sparkling grape juice would be nice. Now I don't know if they come in miniature sized bottles. I did come across some bigger sized bottles. I'll be doing a video of those as well. 
I already did a bottle of non-alcoholic um, sparkling Welch's grape juice. And that came out really pretty as well. So everything does not have to be about liquor. It definitely doesn't because I do understand everyone does not drink. Now, another thing, if you know that someone is like really into Pepsi or Dr. Pepper or whatever it is, you would either add rhinestones to a, a can of pop. Or you can add glitter to a can of pop or a bottle of pop. I did do a glass bottle of Pepsi before. No, it was Coca-Cola. And I did a glass bottle of Sprite. And they were so adorable. So keep that in mind too. If it's something you know that someone likes, even if it's like maybe some iced tea or something, throw some glitter on there. Don't be afraid to think outside the box sometimes. But thanks you guys for watching this video. I did recently hit 20,000 subscribers, so I'm very excited about that. Thank you so much for everyone who subscribed to this channel. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or if you enjoyed it. And share the video on Facebook if you can, just to get it out there. Thanks again, you guys, so much. And you can follow me on Instagram at life is a whole vibe with underscores in between each word. And I'm also on TikTok. I'm going to work on putting more content on TikTok as well and it's the same name. Um thanks again. Happy holiday happy holidays you guys. Bye bye. Oh and these are the three gifts that I made for the speakers. So far I did post a little bottle of the new Amsterdam with the pearls on it. The Sutter Home bottle that which is the video you're watching now and the other little shot glass with the studs on it. That video will be coming pretty soon. So I thought these were some cute little gifts, you guys, and they absolutely love them. So thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye. website myworldradiance.com and we do carry faux leather inspired designer fabric for your crafting needs luxury inspired croc charms as well as iron-on patches and much more enjoy the coupon code my royal beauty 10 off check out our website crtacticaldefense.com where we do sell in waistband gun holsters belly band holsters and many more please check out my discount code vibes for a special discount for my subscribers